Hello everybody and welcome to another Affinity Photo Tutorial. This time we are going to create a mock-up. We are going to select an image that has an empty frame and we are going to create this graphics to suit our photo. First things first, let's create a new file. Let's go by screens, so let's say full HD could be okay. And in stock here, if you have your own photo you can drag it in. I'm going to choose like a photo frame, hit enter, I'm happy with this frame. But before we get started, let's roll in the intro. Let me explain you the principle. What we are going to do is, we are going to create a new file. It's going to be a photo. Um, actually, you can go by print, small print and create. You need this portrait orientation. So let's put in here portrait. Let's see what we have. Do, 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 do. I think this one is good. Let's save it, give it a name, doesn't matter. Let's go back to our file file place before you place it look at the placement policy and see if it's embedded and after that just take your file that you created click open and drag it more or less like this let's go back to our layers and let's add in a perspective so the way you can do it is in live layers live filters sorry you add in a perspective you have the same option if you go to layers, new live layer, distort, and you have perspective here. So, but it's quicker if you're going to use the bottom tool there. So let's zoom in. And move the corners. this on the corner here and perfect first picture was added because we have this element let's add it in as well I'm going to do the same thing file place and I think I have something here let's say screen 2 picture of this dog and let's here now you can see the ratio is not that good so in order to change that you can double click on it and crop it three by two should be okay crop it close it and go back to our file have it here now let's add in Our perspective and try to move it in like this of course it helps if you zoom in take off the magnetic tool so it's going to work better but try to find this is a little bit trickier because you don't have like very sharp corners like you had in the frame uh, try to like I do let's say guesstimate something like this okay it's already looking good now because we are here with the dog let's change a little bit the way the picture integrates in the frame so we are going to add a mask we are going to change the, to a brush and we are going to look for let's say some inks because this is a canvas and let's make it smaller hardness 30 percent opacity i want to be around there can okay, make it 
bigger. I'm using the bracket keys. And if you go mm, something like this, well, let's zoom out and just touch on, click on first, hold shift, click here, same here, shift, click here, click here, and then click here. Mm. Could be better, to be honest. Let's find a different brush and do the same. Click one corner, shift, click on this other corner, and I'm gonna show you a different trick. Let's go and we're going to use the smudge brush and we are going to bring back some white here, just smudge it in like this. Okay, and of course, if you want to change the image, it's going to be easy. Just double click on the image, choose your own image here. Let's put this image and see how that is going to work. And there you go. And of course, for some images, you just need to go and play with the mask. Some of the images are working better than the others. So again, and I'm changing from white to black using the X key from my keyboard. Okay, let's do the same thing here. Let's bring in some shadows here. I'm going to add some internal shadows. So go to FX, inner shadow, and radius, offset, intensity. You can go nuts here. I think the shadow came from here. Hit close. And there you have it. A very quick mock-up here if you want to change the file double click on it go to the stock and think you can use this one so if you don't want to change to zoom in zoom out the way you can do and resize it make sure that these two values from the transform area are linked and just change one so 250 hit tab and that will transform it Close this one. Let's go back to our file here and you can see it introduced the image here. Now let's save this one. Of course you can go and change like I did here. So you can see that I've introduced some elements. I changed the frame color. I changed the inner frame. Now the thing you can do is put your planes on a display monitor to change the graphics. Let's say you are a graphic designer and you want to add like for a website, a few elements, or if you're a product designer, you can add your own graphics to a box. I've added here the front cover, the text. Until next time, thanks for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Hit the like button. If you're not subscribed already, please do so and drop me a message if you have any questions and see you around.